Welcome to Christiana Flourishing, where we motivate you with God word. Are you just married? Are you long years married? Are you having problem in your marriage? You are not alone. Please just watch this video to the end and check on the link under this video. How Pastor Enoch Jerry changed her life from her old character to who she is today. And please check, get her book on how I almost run my marriage. This was two years ago. And this will change your life forever. Remember to subscribe I to this channel. I grew up in a home where, you know, you, you see your parents fight, you know, so... And I did, I never knew that, you know, like my mom, maybe you say was hot tempered or anything. It's after I wrote the book and I was telling her what I wrote because they saw it on Facebook. And we're like, what did she do? Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of so. Mm -hmm. So my mom now, you know, calls me on the phone. Even my dad called me. My mom calls me on the phone and I start telling her that, you know, what, what the, content the content of, of the, the book. book. And she said, well, it's really true. If, if it's going to help another family, actually, when, you know, those days I used to be very um, hot tempered, mm. you know, and I never knew my mom was hot tempered, you know, as children. We just saw them fight. I just thought that was, that was just how, you know, it was. Yes. That's how it was supposed it's to be. be. So I grew up, you know, with that, you know, that that's how things are, you know, are done. That it's only when you start fighting physically that's, that's when things resolve the uh, you know uh, and that's when things have gone too far but you can shout you can get angry you can you know raise your voice so it was a normal thing for me so my surprise was when i got married and it all became an issue and i'm like i've been like this all these years everybody everybody loves me the way i am so why is it now a problem you know so that was that that was me you know the me that was what formed the book so another thing was that it, like this book you know, I've been married for over 10, ten years. years. So the this my change just started not too long ago. Wow. Yes, it just started let's say in seven the seventh year. That's Hallelujah. really so you can imagine how long, you know. Because I see people that will even tell me, Oh, I've tried three years, four years, it's not working, I don't think it could work. At times, you know, it it it, it, it takes even longer because the only time change can come is even when the person realizes that the person has a problem exactly so it depends on how long it exactly. will take you to take realize you. Exactly. you know that you have a problem yeah. so for me when that when it happened was when i just figured out and saw how i was ruining because actually it's real the word ruin, mm -hmm. I, it's it's it, yes it's catchy but that was what, that was, what was, happening. was happening you know when i discovered what my actions you know or inactions was doing to my marriage yeah so i just figured out you know like the bible will say a wise woman builds her home a foolish woman tears yes, it, it down. down you know and i and I actually said in my book that you know the foolish woman you don't need anybody to help you you can do it all by, by yourself. yourself you can actually tear down your home by yourself because the things i did i didn't have the influence of you say like a friend or a, a type this, of, this is just who, who i am yes. you know and that was who what who, who i was yes who i was you know and its impact so i just discovered that you know at some point my husband stopped talking he said so he became distant he became distant he would laugh with other people more he wouldn't laugh with me you know and you're thinking okay also i should laugh with you the first is not even looking at you you can come into a place he wouldn't even notice that you are there mm. you know unlike before maybe when you enter a place you know when you know how the person treated you exactly before. so the person treats you like a cool i did different things and i'm doing <laughs> examples you know um, because I used, I usually would be very angry, so at times I would, um, you know, the, the problem is that when you're angry, you don't even know what you do. You forget people that are angry people forget that, yes. easily. It's the it's people those that you did it, did it to that will remember the things you yeah, did. So there are a lot of things that I did that I can't remember. But, but you know, like when I discuss my husband, my husband will tell me and I'm like, no, who does do that? that? Yeah, I'll even tell him, who does that? I you know, because now I know I can't do that again. But I can remember when we got married, the first week we got married, um, uh, then he was working with United so Nations. Yes. And um, he went to Abuja. He said, let's go to Abuja together. So I went with him. And for some reason, you know, he, he left, he went to work. Mm -hmm. I really don't even know what my problem was that day. You know, maybe <laughs> because he left me in the hotel and didn't probably maybe plan on how I'm going to eat or I don't, I, I really don't I, I, remember, I can't remember what, it, what was. it was that was upsetting me. But I know it was just because he left me and he didn't call, maybe he didn't check he up, didn't check up the throughout the whole day. So, you know, as 
an angry person that I was, I was already boiling mm. and I was just waiting for him to come back. So when he came back, the look on my face in would have told oh, him that it's already a problem. And I started nagging, I started to complain. There was nothing he could tell me that could, you know, pacify me. I just kept complaining and complaining. And at some point he just went and sat at the corner, you know, like in a hotel where the bed is and the phone. He just went there, sat and started crying. And it was when he started crying, I just I just discovered, okay, maybe I've taken you too far. I'm like, mm. oh, and he said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This was the first week. This was just our first yes. week in marriage, you know. And things like, you know, like this one, he, he told me, I, you know, that you I did remember. it. I can't remember I did it. He said he could be one of those days. Still the first, you know, that first um, week, mm -hmm. you know, first week of our marriage. And I was so upset, you know, and I broke the plates in the kitchen. You know, I got so angry, I just entered the kitchen and, you know, from and shattered plates. So, still, I can't believe I could do that kind of thing, but I did it actually, you know. Oh, you know, things like that, you know. I, I, I usually would get angry, I would bang the door at him. So, he'll be talking to me and he said you would walk out. I'll walk out. Okay, okay. So, I'm just, I'm like, I can't take this anymore, you know. It's, it's, it's getting. So, I'll just ignore him, walk out, and I'll make sure I bang the door like this, you know. <laughs> So he's talking and I'm like doing all of that in front of him. In front of him. Oh, right. In front of him. So he sees it. <laughs> yes, yes. So, you know, he sees it and he complains. And I'm like, oh, I will give an excuse for why I did whatever, you know, do that. And my, I'm disrespecting him. I didn't, I, I didn't just do it, you know, in secret. I didn't, I disrespected him in public.